Yo, what's up guys? Mr. Water here. Uh, and today we're going to make another video. Um, I'm going to talk about Azerite traits. So I've been getting a few questions about it. And I think I talked about it a little bit in my overall guide. The one hour one. But let's talk about it in particular. huh? Um, so here's the thing. I sort of a long time ago figured out what I wanted to do with Azerite traits. The main thing I used was this add-on called Azerite Power Weights. Um, so look, I'll show you kind of how that works. So whenever you go to one of your pieces of gear, you can shift click it, right? So this window pops up. There'll be this thing down here called Azerite Power Weights. Uh, let me reduce the camera so you can see. Okay, I like this add-on a lot. There might be better ones, but I don't know. You click it. You make a profile, all right? So here I have heals and damage. Uh, and then I assign points to each one of these, right? So, and I'll go over what gets what points later, but this is sort of how it works, right? So it has all the Azerite traits on here. Okay. And then when I'm looking at Azerite gear, so for example, I'm looking at Helm of the Hideous Transformation. Um, down at the bottom, and I'll kind of make the cam even smaller so you can for sure see it. Down at the bottom, you'll see Azerite power weights, and it'll say 3,706. So that's the points assigned to this uh, this piece of gear. The way I do the points is every 100 points equals 1% healing. So in theory, this Azerite piece of gear is 37% healing, and that comes from just the traits. Okay. So and then so this one 33.53, so 3,353. So this would be 33.53%. Get the gist of it, yeah. Um, okay, so for traits, let me go ahead and pull those up. Here's what I value the to traits at currently. Now, obviously, um, this was, some of these aren't exact, but it's, it's pretty damn close. Uh, Arcane Heart, for example. So if it has this little asterisk next to it, that means it changes. Uh, obviously, Arcane Heart has, um, you know, here, let me make this, let me make these all just a little bit bigger. You can all see a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so Arcane Heart obviously changes in a value quite a bit, right? Um, because in theory, in theory, it can be all the way up to 713 haste, right? So 713 haste perma would be about 3,500 points. So obviously, we're only giving it 1,900. Um, now, it can be less than 1,900. It's all about uptime, guys. Um, here's the thing You can't be stacking arcane heart while it's active. You can only stack arcane heart when it falls off So if you do a significant portion of healing immediately after it falls off and you get it right back It's like the downtime was only a couple seconds So through careful play or in high HPS fights this could be worth more around like 2,500 3,000 points um, but in general, I've given it 1900. 1900 is the value that it's worth at 100k HBS. Okay, so that's that's worth noting. Um, okay, back to the old sheet that we had up. Okay, so I'll write them off to you guys. At your best trait at the top, on average with 100k HBS, is uh, is Arcane Heart at 1900. It's worth 19% healing. Then it goes. 1727 blood right 1691 meticulous scheming 1250 misty's peaks 900 uplifted spirits so the asterisk next to this the reason that's there is because uplifted spirits gets increased value when it's the first one uh, and this comes from reducing the cooldown of your revival now here's the caveat the caveat is once you reach 120 percent average haste which i think there's only like i don't know 10 of us in the world right now with that but i'm gonna mention it anyways once you reach a point where EM starts becoming your predominant heal, Uplifted Spirits actually becomes kind of dead weight. Uh, and when you reach such a high point of haste, where EM's like 40-50% of your healing, Uplifted Spirits really becomes bad. A lot Worth a lot less points, you know? So you're going to want to transition out of that. Also, some other things kind of change, and we'll, we'll mention that. Actually, I wanted to put an asterisk next to this, too. We'll get down to that in a second. So Overwhelming Power... Uh, is at 858, Lightborn Infusion, 780, Swelling Sand, 752, Wound Binder, 702, Heart of Darkness, 684, Clockwork Heart, 611, Life Speed, 535, Unzero Flames is at 493, Elemental World, 480, Secrets of the Deep, 450, Unstable Callus, 422, and Finmore Recovery, 400. Here's the thing, guys. 
I put this as essentially a 4% HPS increase. The the impact of it is hard to state, right? It's mana. Mana could mean nothing for you, or it could mean quite a bit for you. Um, in general, I think it's a pretty good fail safe at, um, at like a max level mythic piece. It's something like 1,100 mana back. So this could proc twice on a fight, being 22k mana, which could be a pretty significant portion. Um, the way you guys can figure stuff out like this is this is how I look at how to view mana. In a six minute fight, you have an average of four mana pools. Three come from mana region. One is the initial mana pool that you started with. So think of a six minute fight as having 400% maximum mana. So if something comes along and gives you, let's say 10,000 mana, you have to divide that by the, the by four essentially, right? Because what is 10,000 mana of 400,000, right? It would be 2.5%. So 10,000 mana in a six minute fight, I value as 2.5% increased HBS. Now, obviously, mana doesn't translate into increased HBS perfectly. So it's a bit of a tricky scenario, right? I guess mana is kind of like, it, you know, it's sort of up to you. It's fight dependent. Some fights, if you get really good RNG, you don't need any mana. Some fights, you get bad RNG and you'd wish you had all the mana in the world. So it's, it's like whatever. At the end of the day, you'd rather just have like another haste proc or something, but it's pretty solid still. And then, last but not least, Secret Infusion at 315. Um, this probably drops... Actually, no, this will always be versatility, so it's pretty stable. Okay, so what you guys can do is you plug these values into your Azerite power weights, right? Um, there are other power weights, but these are the top ones. Everything else is kind of like meh, and you guys can figure that out for yourself, right? Uh, if it's not in this list, that means it's worth under 300 points. And if you guys really want, I'll go and again list every single piece in point order down here. Maybe I'll do that later. So you guys can always look at the Google Doc for that. Um, and I, I did that on my character, obviously, right? So I went to the power weights and pretty much put a value for everything. If I felt like it didn't really give me anything, I assigned a 1 to it, right? So Sunrise Technique is useless. I gave it a 1. Glory of Dawn's useless. I gave it a 1. Um, but I pretty much gave everything a value of what I thought it was worth HBS wise. And so I understand a lot of this. Some of this is based in math. Some of it is feeling crafty, which I know irritates some people, but, um, honestly, I feel like my instinct on Philly crafty stuff is typically pretty strong. So I mean, it got me this far, right? Um, okay. Oh, wait, here's another thing that's worth noting guys. All of these values are derived based off mythic item level pieces. Base mythic item level pieces, not the plus 10 item level pieces, right? So what do I mean by that? Um, that means I went to the vendor, I looked at all of the Azerite traits of the vendor at mythic item level, and then I looked at the ones at the rate of mythic item level, and that's how I determined what the value of these things would be. So let's look at a piece of gear. So here's a Steigens, guys. Perfect piece, right? So when you see a value that says, like Misty Peaks, 1,250, it's 1,250 for a 475 Misty Peaks, okay? Now, luckily, the points don't change that much when you drop item level. Um, I believe the formula is every 15 item levels you drop, subtract 3.3%, right? Um... Or 5%, I believe. So, let's see. Here's Helm of Hideous Transformation. So, this, yeah, okay, I remember now. This has 30 less item level than what a mythic piece would be. So, that means the traits on here, um, since it's 30 item levels, will suffer a 10% loss to the points at the end, right? So, luckily, that's pretty easy math. 10% 10, 10 is you just move the decimal place over one spot, right? So, 3,706, That you would just subtract 370 points from that, right? Um, so the real value of it would be like 3,400 points, right? Um, here's the thing. There is no 480 version of Arcane Heart. So you'll never subtract points from Arcane Heart. It is always going to be 1,900. Um, <laughs> I realize as I'm explaining this, it's probably not making much sense. But I'm trying. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll link the, the values in the, the gear chart. And so you can just copy and paste those values and they should be for the most part, right? For you guys, it's all based off haste being worth five points, um, right? Based off the stat weight. 
And so that's another thing. If you guys use stat weights, uh, any stat weight scores like pawn or something, um, I'd suggest plugging in the values that I have linked in the um, the Google Doc. So here's stat weight score. Uh, and these are the values that I've decided to give these. Now, my haste is worth six because I consider haste worth a lot more. But for you guys, haste will most likely be worth five. Um, crit is at 1.4. If you're not running uplifted spirits, crit goes to like 1.3. Um, but anyways, so say you plug these values in, right? So if you use that weight score in combination of Azerite power weights, what you can do is you can hover over a piece of gear. And so see uh, the number where it says stat weight score heals, 858. And then the Azerite power weight, 3,706. So I know when I combine these two that this piece to me is worth whatever 3,706 plus 858 is. Um, which would be uh, what, 4,500, uh, about 4,564, right? Which to me means that it's worth about 45% healing, right? So if I was to take this helmet off, in theory, I would lose 45% of my healing or because of the way the math works, it'd be something like 30, 35%, but you get, you get the point, right? Um, and that's how I've decided how to do essentially stats and azurite power weights and i remember i kind of explained this before in a video and i got flamed because it's not exact math or science but honestly every single time i i do all of this and i make it i i put values for all of my azurite it ends up becoming the best for the spec and then everybody copies me and then that's that like like i correctly uh mapped out the best for glimmerden originally and the BIS I used for Azrite ended up becoming the BIS that everybody used. So I don't think it's a coincidence personally. And I get shit on because my math isn't like perfect. But hey, here it is, dude. I'm just trying to get by. All right. Um, what else? I think there's one more thing I want to talk about. Um, okay. So yeah. So every 15 item levels, you just subtract the points by 5%. Um, if it's not, you know, f uh, 4 480 item level right from being a mythic piece so what else what else what else uh i guess that's it guys okay so when you're yeah i, I would just suggest getting both those add-ons and this is this is mostly for the people that are trying to like figure out like what azurite piece to wear right uh and i'll i'll probably put a um uh i'll put more stuff in the description about like what's your bis and whatnot um, in general, Helm of the Hideous Transformation is, pretty, is your best above anything that's 100k and more. Uh, if you're doing under 100k HBS, guys, Steigen's guys, Mythic is your best. For shoulders, there's no competition. It's shoulders of Sanguine Monstrosity. Um, and then for chest piece, you have some options here. Um, you have the Venture Co. and the... Let's see. Let's talk to this guy and I'll show you guys. So for shoulders, okay, so Pistola Shoulders is, is a pretty decent piece. Shoulders of the Sanguine Monstrosity is also very good. Um, oh, sorry, we're, damned. where's my mind? Okay, we're talking about chest piece. Okay, so there are two chest pieces that are worth the exact same points. So here's 2600, 26, 2601, and this was also 2601. Radiant of the Blighted Tribe and the Bomber Jacket are worth the exact same. So these are second bis. Uh, true bis is the venture co right here, and this is when I'm talking about true bis. I mean true bis for the vendor. Okay, so this one's significantly better. So I'll be I'll be trying to buy this one here. Um, but the real bis guys comes from the raid on mythic, obviously, right? It's the chess piece on mythic from from the carapace of the zoth. So it goes like this, guys. There's mythic chess piece from the carapace of the zoth. Um, then the Mythic Venture Co. from the vendor, and then there's the two twin Mythic uh, chess pieces that's good, that are good runner-ups, right? Which is the Bomber Bomber Vest and the um, the Blighted Tribe. Okay, so your most realistic bis, or at least the realistic piece that you're going to be wearing, is going to be one of these three because you have a pretty good shot at getting a really really solid chess piece, right? Uh, either the Venture Co., the Bomber, or the Radiant. That's three pieces out of, what, seven? So you have a really good chance of rolling your best chess piece. Now, obviously, the chess piece from the Nizoth is better, but notice how I, I, I didn't even really mention the Heroic one. The Heroic one is, like, tied for the Vendor one, too, guys. So 
the heroic version of the chess piece the torture flesh piece chaos this is equivalent to like the mythic blighted tribe and, or, or the bomber vest right so i guess third place is a three-way tie you could either use the the torture flesh piece chaos or the two twin um uh vendor pieces right second place is the venture co vendor piece and then absolute bis is mythic flesh beast chaos kind of convoluted complicated as fuck i know um but the way i was able to figure this out was as right power weights and plugging in these values right and so i was really able to do the math myself and sort of figure it out the as right system for this game guys has been so complicated and my system is even more complicated and convoluted but i think it works it's just really hard to explain to people and get it set up um so hopefully this helped a little bit <laughs> you guys can feel free to ask me more questions um especially like when you guys are making alts and stuff and you can't quite get the bis set up but you still want to get like you want to know like what's actually an upgrade um this has been the way this has been instrumental to figuring out what is actually like the best right if you use the two add-ons in combination you plug in the stat weights you plug in the the power weights on both you should be able to add up the stat weight score with the Azerite power weight score to find out the true value of the item there's a reason why i use the same system for each right where 100 points equals one percent healing because that way i can actually like look at a piece and know what it means from not only from the intellect that it gives but also from all of the power weights um and i'm sure i'm off i'm sure i'm off by 5 10 15 percent but whatever i have a system i you gotta have at least some kind of system to where you can pretend to know what's going on i mean <laughs> the game is so complicated right now you know um and for somebody who's i would say decent at math i still feel overwhelmed it's kind of ridiculous you know like I'm almost on like Rain Man levels over here, and if the system's, oh, I'm like a really a big small square there. If I'm having troubles figuring out the system, then obviously Blizzard needs to figure some things out. I feel like there's something I forgot, so let me just go check over my notes here. Um, I don't think I haven't really written down too much stuff here for this. Yeah, I, I think what I'll do, guys, is I'll keep going down and list everything, and so that way you guys can just sort of plug these values in and uh, do it yourself. And uh, I guess I'm rambling. Is there anything I need to talk about? Um, Bloodright, Bloodright has a little asterisk. So Bloodright gets a lot better in certain fights where you can kill ads, like Hive Mind. The uptime goes significantly up. It's really good. Um, I think that's it, guys. Also, you know, you, you need for uh, Heart of Darkness, the one, this trait right here, you obviously need um, 25 corruption to make that work. So if that doesn't work, then there goes a lot of points from that, right? So, okay, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys later.